European astronaut Pedro Duque is in the last stages of completing his training to take part in the Cervantes mission to the International Space Station from the 18th to the 28th of October. Since 1978, more than 30 astronauts from ESA's 15 member states have made a flight into space, but this will be the first space mission sponsored by the Spanish government. For Spain, or for any country, it's important to be at the forefront of technological development because it's very important for the development of the country, for industry, for students, for many things. As a talented young aeronautical engineer, Pedro Duque's first contact with space exploration was in the 1980s when he started working at the European Space Agency's operations center, ESOC, in Germany at the early age of 23. Six years later, in 1992, he was selected to join the European Astronaut Corps based in Germany where he started his training. Since then, as a backup astronaut and as part of the ground control teams, he has been involved in numerous missions including Euromir 94 and STS-78. Then in 1998, he got the chance to take part in STS-95, his first space flight. As a mission specialist, he was accompanied by U.S. Senator John Glenn on a mission that made history as the most international space shuttle mission. But what is it that inspired Duque to become an astronaut? It's something that mankind enjoys. It's almost instinctive for man to want to explore, to go further, to study the world around him and to try and discover what lies beyond the point he's reached. And right now that means space. Since the Columbia shuttle accident, the dependency of the International Space Station on the Soyuz missions has increased, and they are now the only way that astronauts can fly to and from the space station. This means that Duque will be traveling with two long-stay crew members, Russian astronaut Alexander Kaleri and his American colleague Michael Fole. Being the only short-stay crew member means that Pedro will have a dedicated workload during the 10 days he stays in space. The real difference now is the level of responsibility we have as European astronauts, which is much greater than before. The Cervantes mission is a cooperation between Russia, Spain and the European Space Agency. In preparation for this mission, Duque has been in intensive training for 18 months. Training which includes learning survival skills, physical fitness, training in a low-gravity atmosphere and working with fellow crew members on flight simulation exercises aimed at preparing astronauts for working under pressure in emergency situations. In these simulations something always goes wrong. There's always some emergency to deal with or an unscheduled operation to carry out. That's the whole point of taking part in these simulations to see if one is capable of responding positively to these situations. During the flights to and from the ISS, Duque's role will be that of flight engineer, but he also has the title of commander in the case of something happening to the Russian commanders. To gain this qualification, it was essential for Duque's Russian, the operational language on board the Soyuz, to be fluent. During the Cervantes mission, Duque will be carrying out a wide range of scientific experiments during the eight days he spends aboard the ISS. To prepare for this, he received extensive training from scientists at STEC. These experiments carried out on board the ISS will help in the education of students and in furthering technological and scientific advances in Spain and Europe. These experiments will not only be carried out in the Russian section of the ISS, but also in the American segment. For this reason, Duque has visited NASA's center in Houston with the other crew members to familiarize themselves with all safety procedures. To become an astronaut requires an advanced level of different skills and attributes. And as the first Spaniard in space, modesty is certainly one of the attributes Pedro Duque isn't lacking. I feel very proud, yes, if it's true that people see this as a representation of Spain in space. I'm going to do the job the best I can. Of course, the most important thing of all is to feel proud afterwards, once the job is done.